come to another haul. I do not make hauls that often, but as I was in London for five days, I bought some bits and bobs and you can see uh, most of it over here. Um, these are also some goodies or presents for friends, but as they don't know, they don't know. Okay, let's start. It's it's a huge pile, and uh, but it's not overwhelming, I guess. So let's start with the first thing I'm wearing. So this is a new jacket. Looks like a. It's very long. It's. I can show you. It's longer than this, and. It's super cozy and it's from Marks and Spencer and yeah, it's good for the time between summer and autumn, I guess. Depends on the temperatures. It's very cozy. Uh, I like it a lot. So this is from Marks and Spencer. Is there anything, anything else from Marks and Spencer? I don't know. Let, let's move on with the second thing I'm wearing, it's <laughs> it's my lipstick and we went to Harrods because why not and they had a special edition or a special, a limited special cooperation with Kylie, with Kylie lipstick and I like the packaging and I couldn't resist. So this is called Tea Time Matte 620. I think it's a it's a special color. So you can see it on my lips now. And yeah. So it's uh, the same, it's a kit, so we have the lip liner and the liquid lipstick and they match very well. It's not the same color, um, it's always like that and the inside of the packaging is also very beautiful and you yeah, couldn't resist. I always keep the packaging because I'm crazy. Okay. Let's move on with the beauty parts as we already are diving into it. So I took a powder with me, but this was too glowy for everyday powder. So I went to Boots and bought the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. Um, it does it work and it's really easy to use. Then I was looking for this one. This is a new powder sponge combination from uh, Real Techniques. So from this side it's the same material we know from the sponges and on this side there is a powder puff. So it looks like this. It's quite hard. I think there's silicone or something in there. It's uh, really hard on the face. I'm not sure if I love it, but I will use it further on and let you know if I like it. Then I saw these two many markers for many cures. I already have one in, uh, in, in white, but this is... Uh, so the tip looks like a felt eyeliner, so maybe this works better uh, because I'm all, always making uh, French nails on the toes. And the green one is for a friend as a present. And then we have here, I saw this, this is from Superdrug. This is uh, for the hair, a Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Frizz Serum from Me Plus by Superdrug. 
and yeah I used it already because I went swimming into the swimming pool in the hotel and they didn't have a conditioner in the showers downstairs uh, so I needed something to put inside my hair I let you judge if this looks frizzy I think it looks a bit frizzy still but I guess it could look f more frizzy <laughs> so it works kind of but I wouldn't buy it again or recommend it to somebody and then I got this also from Harrods uh, I saw this in a video from Cherry Wallace and she uh, yeah recommended the scent library from Penhaligans and we have uh, eight eau de parfums inside if you want to know which you can pause the video now and this is also a present for somebody I think that's it I know we have Here's still some things. I'm usually using Rexona as a deodorant, but they had Dove and Mitchum. And we have Dove here in Germany, but not the maximum protection stick. And Mitchum is super new for me, so but I heard good things, so I thought let's give them a try. So they are the same. They are filled with deodorant cream and you push so you turn this around and then there's cream coming out of this one and it's really nice. So the one from Rexona is really nice so I hope these are nice too. Okay that's it with beauty and skincare and everything like that. Um, we have a lot of food, so I will go on with some Harry Potter stuff. Uh, I showed you this already in one of the videos. This is a hanging ornament for the Christmas tree. We decided for the sorting head. <laughs> yeah. For the sorting head, there is a little face. It's made out of uh, porcelain or china, and yeah, looking forward to hang it on the tree soon. Then I couldn't resist and bought this bendable bow truckle in in a store. I opened it already, of course. Yeah, and there is a little bow truckle inside. I thought he, he looks a bit cuter, but I mean he, he is somehow grumpy and so on. He looks like this. And I can put him... Oh, I have a place to put him in here. So we have a little bow truckle here joining our hole. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Sorry. Sorry about the geek action here and there was um, there are two magnets inside it's it's yeah so I will show you the magnets this is uh, one magnet and this is the other one and yeah so it was seven pound ninety nine was it worth it I don't know but he looks really cute in here doesn't he Okay, that was Harry Potter and regarding clothes, I went crazy in Uniqlo. We have Uniqlo here, but I wasn't sure if we also had those things because sometimes they have special corporations in different countries. So my husband thought I might like this one and so this is a little turtleneck on the top and I'm not a fan of stripes but this one looked really nice because I, I guess because um, the straps are very bold and yeah, 
this is cute for autumn and winter and then I went a bit crazy about the same cardigan so I bought it in dusty pink in a natural white and in a blue and yeah they are uh, quite thick so warm and not so long and I can wear them as a as a sweater and yeah they yeah they are comfy they are not too expensive and I needed some cardigans so I think it was a good decision. Good! Let's move on um, with food. Uh, I can start with the big one here. So this is an advent calendar I will give to somebody. This is a popcorn advent, advent calendar from Joe and Seth's uh, Gourmet Popcorn Chef and Connoisseur. And yeah. I got this one from Selfridges. Then we had to go to Hotel Chocolat because I was looking for these both uh, hot chocolate sachets. So we have vanilla white and mint drinking chocolates. Uh, you can put it in a velvetizer with uh, the milk of your choice or we use the Nespresso I don't know how it's called the milk warmer thing and it's as good as the Velvetizer and uh, if you don't know there are chocolate pieces inside those sachets and they melt with the warmth So I had two years ago, I think, or one year ago, I don't know, uh, a box like this with different variations of their chocolates and these, are, these were the two uh, that suits me the most, so I wanted to repurchase them. And We were also looking for these. These are Monty Bojangles Chocky Scoffy Divinely Chocolatey Cocoa Dusted Truffles. They are really, really good. You can't find them here in Germany. And yeah, they are super chocolatey. The, cho the cocoa dust is great and we needed two, of course. And then I bought some things for a taste test. So this one is the gluten-free chocolate chip oat biscuit breaks from Nairns. You can see this soon in a taste test. As well as these from what's the company? Love Corn is the company and these are cheese and onion flavored crunchy corns. I know crunchy corns from the Turkish supermarket but not with cheese and onion flavor so let's let's see how these are. Then I went for this chocolate bar, Yorkie, I went for the original because there was another flavor and this sounded so not <laughs> eatable, so I went for the original one. I don't know that, maybe it's an old 
favorite of all UK citizens. I don't know, but I will try that. I will also try from Grace the peanut butter oat boosts. So these are little bars inside this box. Uh, three flapjack fingers and the flavor is peanut butter of course yeah I already told you that okay then I will also try the off the eaten path caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar pea and bean sticks that sounds really up my street so curious to try these and what else will I bring into the taste test? Yeah, I, I found these poppets with the flavor dark choc mint cream. This combination is always really attracting me. Then we got some pretzels, sour cream and chive in the airplane. I will put this as well to the taste test. And um, there were some people in Oxford Street giving this for free to us and the, this is Pip and Nut. Let's open it. And there is a little treat inside here. So it's the Pip and Nut dark chocolate peanut with real peanut butter. Um, yeah, there's a little treat. And there's also some, a glass, a little mini jar of peanut butter inside. I will not put this in the taste test, just the treat. And I will have that. Oh, this looks juicy. Okay, I will have that <laughs> um, uh, for breakfast. Okay, so this was it for the taste test. I bought my favorite Doritos. We don't have these here in Germany. Not the blue ones. We have the yellow ones and the red ones and not these ones, but these are the best. So I went for a small bag. And another present for somebody are the Colin the Caterpillar Fizzy Rainbows. This is also a treat for somebody else. This is my little London Hall. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. And then we will see us very soon. Stay safe and take care. Bye!